A man was uh, wrongly uh, uh, arrested, accused, detained. That doesn't make any sense to me. Outrage from Montreal's mayor echoes anger from many today. Stopped by police for using his cell phone while driving last Thursday, Mamadi Kamara just happened to be there as the officer who pulled him over was assaulted and stripped of his weapon. When Kamara tried to help by calling 911, he soon found himself arrested, charged with attempted murder and more. After being held in custody for six days, yesterday a shocking reversal. All charges against him stayed. It's a very exceptional situation. We don't see that often. And we hope not to see that because the, the, what happened yesterday just proved that there was a mistake done. Montreal police aren't calling it a mistake but are saying more evidence came to light, including additional analysis of traffic camera footage which showed another person at the crime scene. And witnesses came forward. Now there are calls for an independent inquiry. Quebec's public security minister tweeted, the circumstances that led to the indictment of Mr. Mamadi Farah Kamara must be examined. Police, though, say the investigation is still underway and for now, Kamara is considered an important witness. We're ready to apologize to Mr. Kamara once we have all the facts. As I stated before, we're still waiting for some results to come in. The police chief says race did not play a role in Kamara's arrest. You know, the relationship between the SPVM and the black community is, uh, is very uh, fragile. So I think some type of apology or acknowledgement of the, of the concern of the black community would have been appropriate. Kamara is not talking. He didn't spend last night at home. Sources tell Radio Canada his home was damaged by police searching for the officer's missing gun. Kamara's lawyer says he's considering his next steps. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Montreal.